Hey guys, in today's video we're going to be doing the first of hopefully many underrated slime shop reviews for you. I chose to go after underrated slime shops for a few reasons, one of them being that I myself am considered an underrated slimer, well I think so and I've been told by a few others. Someone told me that in the comments in the last one, I'm going to shout you out right here. Thank you for that. But anyways, um, there's so many of us out here that still have that great quality. We just haven't had the exposure that we all deserve. Um, don't get me wrong, the big shops are also really good, but we also have that quality. We have those creative ideas. We just need a little bit more exposure and I thought it would be cool to help each other out this way. If you're new here, welcome. I'd love you to hit that like button right now if you're excited for this video. Also, hit the subscribe, please. I want you guys to become part of my animated dreamers and turn notifications on so that you know when I put out the next video. I definitely have more awesome content coming for you guys very soon. If you do that, also don't forget to leave a comment down below letting me know that you did so I can give you a shout out in the next video. Also, if you like this shirt right here, I got Slime Clout. These are in my shop now, wishponastarslimeshop.com. Um, this is actually merch from our event Slime Vegas this last March, and we still have some available, and they're really cool. So in today's video, I'm going to be introducing you guys to Slime by KTM. This is my pick for today's underrated slime shop. I have been following her shop for I think about a year now. She said that she started back last July. She's currently at 30,000 followers on Instagram, which I think is great for one year. Her shop name is inspired by her initials. I asked Kayla, the shop owner, where she took inspiration for to create her slimes and she said she's inspired by a lot of things, but mainly Disney, which is basically one of the big reasons why I chose her. We have that in common. I love Disney, you guys know that, and I'm actually inspired by them a lot in making my slimes as well. And look at her feed, it's so aesthetic, everything looks bright and colorful. She comes up with a... Ugh. She comes up with lots of great creations and I really admire that and I think that her shop definitely deserves more exposure. So without further ado, let's get right into this slime package. <laughs> so first off, I want to let you guys know while I open this package that I received or I ordered this on a Friday and received it on a Monday so that was awesome for shipping. She literally took like... I don't even know if that's two days because it's over the weekend and Sunday doesn't actually count as a mailing day. And I'm having difficulties right now with these scissors. <laughs> oh my god, woo! <laughs> she sent me a lot of candy right off the bat. That's awesome. Thank you. Okay, I'm super excited. So there's like, maybe like, oh my gosh, wow, she spoiled me with the extras. So I got like a bunch of Laffy Taffies here. Oh, how cute. She gave me some of these wristbands from her shop. Those are really cute. I love the bright colors. More um, Laffy Taffies. This is actually a Mickey waffle that goes to one of the slimes I ordered. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. Okay, here's a couple of slimes. A couple of these cute little soft clays. Those are really cute colors too. More Laffy Taffies and some Borax. She gave me some soft clay as well. Thank you so much. And some cute little sprinkles. Oh my god. I'm so excited. The chocolate chip cookie. One that I got. You guys will see those right now and a couple of more that I ordered. I think she gave me an extra, like, it might be a three ounce down here. Thank you for that. And that's all, which is so much. I'm so excited for this. First slime that I'm going to be showing you guys is a six ounce called chocolate chips cookie. It's a butter slime and it's scented like a chocolate chip cookie of course. It comes with this super cute chip charm from Disney's Beauty and the Beast and three chocolate chip charms as well that you get to add into your slime which I thought was super cute. This one did need to be activated, which is not a problem for me. Sometimes weather interferes with the texture of your slimes and the, she did ship this from Florida. So I believe they have warmer weather there and Vegas is where I'm at and it's actually warming up here right now too. This one was really fun to play with. The scent was so yummy, just like a chocolate chip and it definitely inflated a little bit too. If you guys like an inflating slime, I know most of you do. So I really loved this slime overall. 
This next slime is a six ounce called acai shaved ice. It's a snow fizz and it's scented acai and mixed fruit. And oh my gosh, you guys, I loved this scent. It was one of the best that I've ever smelled. Um, I also love the bright and vivid color. You guys know I love bright colors. And I'm a huge fan of snow, the snow fizz texture as well. So it was a lot of fun to crunch it and pop it and all of that. And um, oh, it also came with these super cute add-ins, the extra snow on the side and the mixed fruit, which I thought was perfect for this slime. Overall, I really did enjoy this slime. The only thing that was a little bit off was that it did leave a little bit of discoloration on my table and my hands, but this is a really bright color, so sometimes bright colored slimes will do that depending on how they're colored. Um, other than that, it was perfect. The next slime is technically another six ounce, but it is a DIY clay slime that comes with the clay on the side, so it pretty much turns into an eight ounce slime after mixing. It's called Breakfast at Mickey's. It's um, sugared waffle cone scented, and you guys, I was so excited for this slime because first off, it's such a cute idea. Funny thing is, I actually talked to Kayla and told her that I was like actually gonna make a breakfast at mini slime. That was something I had in mind. I ordered scents for it and mine was gonna be maple bacon scented. And uh, my bacon scent was disgusting. So I actually decided not to make it after all, even though it was such a cute idea. It wasn't gonna be a DIY clay like hers, but it was gonna be something similar to that. So it's, it's really funny that that happened. Just thought you'd like to know the story about it. Anyways, I love the texture of this more than any of the slimes so far. I've only done three so far. But it was a thick slime before mixing and it turned out to be even thicker after. It had great pops, it inflated, and I love the fact that she included that eight ounce container on the side so that there was plenty of space to put your slime after playing with it. I was so bummed out that I forgot about putting the berries on top of the waffle, but they were still a super cute addition to this slime. You actually had the choice of chocolate chips or mixed fruit for your toppings on your waffle. That was such a cute idea. This next slime was an extra six ounce slime that Kayla sent to me. I really appreciate that, thank you. So this one is called Freaky Fortune. It's a clay slime and it's sugar cookie scented. I really enjoyed the scent of this one. It was nice and buttery and smelled a lot like a actual sugar cookie. The fortune says, a journey soon begins. It's prize reflected in another's eyes. When what you see is what you lack, then selfless love will change you back. That's so cute. <laughs> sorry, I'm a sucker for cute stuff. And I'm so sorry, but there's like a million planes flying over my house today and they're totally ruining my voiceover right now. <laughs> this slime was very nice, fluffy and airy, spreadable smelled good. I mean, what more can you ask for in a slime? You got great pops out of it when it inflated up. And also, I loved the whole idea of this with the little capsule inside with a fortune. I mean, that's just genius if you ask me. I'm not sure what the name of this slime is, but it's another extra that she sent over to me, which was so sweet. And this one is a two-toned snow fizz slime. I believe it's scented pineapple. There may be other scents in there as well. But again, I love the snow fizz texture. It was nice and crunchy. So aesthetic with the two colors, the green and the yellow, and they're so bright and neon. I love that in a slime. 
so it was really pretty to look at and it had that adorable pineapple charm that came with it plus it had super cute Mickey Mouse sprinkles and pineapple femos inside which was adorable another really great slime we just got a package in the mail from Slime by KTM, so we're gonna go walk over there and grab it real quick. Sorry, I look like crap right now. And the kids are screaming back there like always. Oh, it's right here. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I guess I'm not going far. Ooh. Excited to open this up. So that was it for my review of Slime by KTM. I have all of the slimes open here still because they all inflated, which is awesome. I hope you enjoyed the video and that I helped you discover another great slime shop out there that you may consider purchasing from. I'll leave all of her info down below if you guys are interested in getting anything from her. I highly recommend it. And I wish you all a super blessed day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.